What's good, it's Xavier from DXT Trainer. Today's video is going to be a leg day video. The concept for today's video is going to be to think for yourself. So I'm going to hit you guys with a couple Bible verses if you're new to my channel. Outside of the artwork I've been posting recently, usually when I make these exercise videos, it's not really about the exercises, it's more so about the concept or the subject matter that I want to discuss now. Just in general, I want to start off with some Bible verses just because it helps you kind of conceptualize what I'm going to talk about. So um, the first one is just realizing, and it comes from Romans, think with so sober judgment and do not think highly of yourself more than you should. Um, or another way to look at it is like you have to have an honest self-evaluation of yourself. And a lot of times because people don't think for themselves, they don't have that. Now, in terms of today's workout, uh, it's just legs, shoulders, and abs. I didn't record the full workout. I don't have um, any shoulder movements recorded, and I don't have the full leg workout recorded. Now, the reason for that being is logistically, I move around from gym to gym. Depending on how much time I have, I might start recording in one gym. I don't like to have a bunch of chopped up footage from different gyms, but I think I'm going to incorporate that. Um, in terms of the workout, what I've been trying to do is a uh, a lot of sh shoulder mobility work, a lot of warming up, a lot of stuff that film-wise probably is not interesting to most people. In terms of the actual workout, what I've been trying to do is pre-fatigue my legs. So I'll do leg extensions, hamstring curls, calf raises first, then I'll do the leg press, and I usually try to save the squat for last. Or I do a lot of reps with in between like 185 to 275 pounds just to make sure that I'm really fatiguing and pushing my legs to the max. Now for the ab movements, I did a forward crunch, a reverse crunch, um, the reverse squat, and a couple of things on a BOSA ball, which I didn't record. Now, in general for today's concept, in terms of thinking for yourself, most people do not think for themselves. And it's a couple of different types of people that I don't like to deal with in terms of if it's clients, if it's business related, friendship, family, people who are quick to Say no to the things they need to do for themselves in terms of them being disciplined, going to the gym, eating healthy, taking care of their own personal business, but quick to turn up, quick to become a yes man when a friend or somebody pops up and says something, uh, quick to forget that you are your own person just so you could be up under other people. And with my clients, if I struggle with getting them to be focused and diligent, they're no longer a client. It is the same in every other area of my life now. One of the main reasons that I think a lot of people can't manifest or get what they want or create what they want out of life is that they have no goals. It is not saying that you can't go fuck off time with friends and family or goofballs. But if the number one thing you're trying to do is live a light and airy life and it's not possible in this day and age to do so, it just makes you fucking stupid. Now, with that being said, how I like to operate is I'm disciplined. I do the work I need to do if I got to get up early, if I got to stay up late to go to the gym to work out, to study, to get certifications. So this year in total, I got five IT certifications and I'm renewing my PT certification. I'm always doing something that's going to move me forward. If I have downtime, I'm going to drive Uber, do something else to earn a little extra cash. I'll do a little IT thing part time already. And then when people hit me up or it's time to go have fun it makes sense because i've earned it it's not just a regular day of doing the bare minimum being stressed out being unhealthy not properly taking care of yourself and then expecting to run about to other people and have fun because that's the number one reason most people aren't happy they're more focused on having fun instead of doing the things that will allow them to have more free time in the future when you work out and you take care of your body and you lose weight and get in shape and you are driven in your purpose when it's time to relax and have fun it's more rewarding the people who are trying to reward themselves and have celebratory things going on every day that done nothing are never happy they're temporarily happy in that moment but even in those moments the same people who will not go to the gym but go to the club or a function put their clothes on and wish they didn't have a tummy or wish they was 20 pounds lighter or wish some of the area of life was different but if you ask them what they're doing to make a difference in those areas, they really can't tell you. Now, in terms of my channel, I'm going to be posting some more podcasts. I'm going to post some stuff for fixing your credit, some stuff for self-development, some books that I recommend, some more exercise videos and some more exercise tutorials. I will probably start also recording some of my clients 
and making content based off of their goals and what they have going on. That's all I wanted to touch on in this particular video. If you guys got any questions, comments, shoot me a DM. If you're in Houston and you're looking for a personal trainer, make sure you shoot me a message. I'm Xavier and I'm out.